Hello, welcome back. In the discussion of the oxidative cyclization reaction, we have seen oxidative cyclization processes in three different categories mainly, but today we will mainly focus on the application of these oxidative cyclization technique mainly for the natural product synthesis. Well, let us before that let us look at this oxidative cyclization method and what other transformation we can utilize or we can incorporate into this oxidative cyclization method. After discussing that we will get into the discussion of few natural product fragment synthesis by utilizing these very useful techniques. So, oxidative cyclization reactive intermediate we can first di discuss reactive metal fragment. Well, first most important thing is to deliver the cyclopentadienyl zinc or zirconium intermediate by utilizing this technique. So, cyclopentadienyl zirconium species are available with let us say for example, you can prepare very easily zirconium chloride, but from there on what we are essentially looking at the cyclopentadienyl zirconium species. For this purpose as you can see the two chlorides are there, we can take two equivalent of N butyl lithium, this is reported by Nigisi, Nigisi in 1987. Two equivalent of N butyl lithium can be reacted to give you the C P 2 zirconium and dialkyl intermediate. Right. From there on you can have these uh, you know these processes where this hydride is basically undergoing beta abstraction this is alpha beta zirconium in zirconium 4 plus. So, therefore, there is no possibility of undergoing a beta hydride elimination from this process. From here on a beta abstraction at this position will gives rise to the intermediate formation that we will see C P 2 zirconium and then cyclopropane intermediate utilizing zirconium and your uh, ethyl part over there. Overall from this part you will get the C 4 H 9, C 4 H 9 formation which is the alkane formation from there. So, this is the beta abstraction intermediate that gives rise to this zirconium C P, C, uh, zirconium C P 2 and the cyclopropane intermediate. What we have just now then seen how to prepare free or you know so called free cyclopentadienyl zirconium intermediate because the, that zirconium cyclopropene intermediate we can get rid of the cyclopropene intermediate in the form of olefin right. Before that what we started with is cyclopentad dicyclopentadienyl zirconium chloride which then can be reacted with in Bewley to give you of course, uh, two equivalents of lithium chloride and two alkyl unit on the zirconium. From there on there since zirconium is in plus 4 oxidation state through uh, at the first two steps, then what we have seen is it cannot undergo the beta hydride elimination because for beta hydride elimination you need to have the electron available to participate into the process. Therefore, one alkyl group will take up the beta position hydride directly to give the alkane and in during the process we will get a metallocyclopropane ring formation by uh, by doing so we will have an intermediate which is ready to leave the metallocyclopropene to an olefin intermediate to give you the C P 2 zirconium which is the active species which is what we need for our substrate such as alkyne and olefin to put together. So, the reaction whatever we have seen just right now are of not much importance except the fact that it can cleanly provide the formation of dicyclopentadiene uh, nyl zirconium species which is the real active species that will be required for the next step of the process that is our uh, the main goal or that is the main thing we were looking for. So, all this reaction what we have discussed is nothing but for the formation of C P 2 zirconium where this olefin can go out. Let us look at the enine cyclization where we will be discussing one 
in substrate another ion that means alkyne substrate one olefin one alkyne put together we will try to build a complicated molecule by or the value added molecule by utilizing this CP2 zirconium species. We have just right now seen how to generate this cyclopentadienyl zirconium species. Now, utilizing those cyclopentadienyl zirconium species, we would like to get the inion chemistry. Let us get into the inion chemistry, inion cyclization. What we have essentially is quote unquote you can put it in quote this is not really the you know directly form intermediate you have to synthesize in C2 and along with it if you have olefin with it we do have in and ion as an intermediate from here on what we do see that cyclopentadienyl metal and this olefin and alkyne is reacting with it first the alkyne will be reactive and therefore, we, we get the intermediate where olefin is appended from the metal center. So, olefin is kind of coordinated with the metal center you can draw that bond. Um, so, interaction between the metan and olefin. So, first alkyne interacting with this dicyclopentanidine zirconium species to form a this cyclopropene intermediate from there on um, the olefin can coordinate with the metal center to gives rise to an intermediate or a process where, um, where the insertion of the olefin can then take place to this cyclopropene intermediate overall then we will have cyclo uh, dicyclopentadienyl metal and this organometallic intermediate where it is nothing but a metallocyclopentene intermediate with a another with another uh, five member ring associated with it right from there on if one wants one can one can look for so let's say for example we are putting r so we should follow the r and then we we can put for example carbon monoxide to it to give rise to the overall uh, the process where we have this uh, cyclopentane ring along with this we have a keto and um, and the intermediate that can be cyclized further. So, the carbon monoxide can be inserted at this position to give rise to this you know this beautiful molecule. If you are reacting with iodine for example, this metal carbon bond can be iodinated very beautifully to overall gives rise to the species where a exocyclic double bond and R and di iodo can be synthesized from these processes. Okay. So, what we have seen right now is a very powerful technique where both alkyne and olefin are together in one substrate. Dicyclopentadienyl zirconium participate into the reaction by interacting with alkyne first in the way it forms the cyclopropene intermediate. That cyclopropene intermediate then interacts with the olefin, the remaining olefin which was less reactive compared to the alkyne. Now, that is that interaction leads to the incorporation of the olefin into the cyclopropene ring to form the 5 member metallocycle intermediate that 5 member metallocycle intermediate then can be reacted with other um, for example, other electrophiles such as iodine can be reacted because this is a organometallic intermediate already in there. In fact, two of them both of those car metal carbon bond can be for example, iodinated or we have seen carbon monoxide can be incorporated into this uh, metal carbon bond. Overall, we can then have a two Cyclopro cyclopentane ring, cyclo uh, you know five member ring or a five member and a six member ring together for for this uh, oxidative cyclization processes. Let's look at it, the few more characteristic of of this of this oxidative cyclization process. So using using this dicyclopentyl zirconium species which is nothing but your CP2 zirconium chloride and two equivalent of n that is what you need 
dicyclo um, cyclopentadienyl zirconium species is in situ generated by cyclopentadienyl zirconium chloride and two equivalent of n butyl lithium. Overall, this is the reactive species. This is a experimentally very simple procedure, simple procedure and works to provide 5, 5 or 6, 5 in own system. Also, terminal alkynes not tolerated under this reaction condition and substitution on olefin however, is also limited, limited functional group compatibility also is shown and terminal alkynes are not tolerated during these processes. So, overall we, we, we now know that there exist some limitation of the processes. If we have um, the substitution at, uh, at these different olefin and alkynes, some of those substitution will not be tolerated. However, still this is a very important method despite some limitation as, as we said, they, these still these are important method for, for synthesizing natural products. We will come to in a moment, let us first point out the limitation of these methods. So, limitation of these methods are very simply, you know, functional group compatibility is not that very high. We have terminal alkyne does not work, terminal alkynes, alkyne does not work for this process. We have to always then, um, then deal with the internal alkyne and in uh, you know substitution on olefin, olefin substitution is also, olefin substitution is limited that is also another problem. But the good things are it is experimentally simple procedure and works to provide 5, 5 or 6, 5 um, different uh, these uh, in own systems. So, there are good things, but there are limitation of the method as well for these processes. Let us look at then few of these natural product synthesis where, um, where these inine method or inine te technology can be utilized for a value added compound synthesis. So, for the rest of the class we will discuss how different natural product can be synthesized or is reported by utilizing this technique. Okay. So, first we will uh, discuss the uh, natural product synthesis by Wender back in uh, 1990 they have reported it. What they have reported simply is a an advanced intermediate where all, th all these in and in are beautifully placed to give rise to an intermediate where CO2 T butyl and this alkyne is appended with it. Of course, as we said, we cannot have a terminal alkyne. So, internal alkyne is fine, TMS protected, which is nothing but you know a bare alkyne if you would like to have it. If your process is not tolerant of terminal alkyne, that is what you put a TMS which can be deprotected later on. And so, what we have here is an in and ion. So, in ion chemistry we are looking at the cyclopentadienyl zirconium species as you know cyclopentadienyl zirconium dichloride and n butyl lithium can be used to form this. Overall then we will have an intermediate where this whole compound can be drawn correctly, can be formed correctly or as well to give rise to this intermediate where you have this cyclopentadiene uh, sorry, or zirconium uh, Five member intermediate, right. So, overall, we are seeing the bond formation between this and zirconium is getting incorporated in here, right. So, therefore, what we have seen that zirconium CP2 intermediate is formed. From there on, if you are reacted with CO, you should be able to incorporate the CO over there to form you the advanced intermediate that is required for the daphnein synthesis. So, let me draw this intermediate where you will have both a 6 member and, and a 5 member as well as, as well as this larger heterocycle where we have 
different substituent uh, at, at this position that is tolerated uh, for, for this value added product synthesis, which is then converted to corresponding uh, corresponding Daphnein synthesis. Okay. So, the natural product Daphnein's can be synthesized, Daphnein's Tiglen's can be synthesized, Tiglen's can be synthesized by utilizing this technique. So, this is a very, very powerful technique. What you have also seen here is the functional group, although this process is not that great for tolerating different functional group, we have seen ester is tolerated in the process. Uh, we have olefin and alkyne put together in these processes to form a 5 membered ring, which is coupled with a another large member heterocycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 member heterocycle overall. So, 5 member, 7 member and 6 member heterocycles are overall put together by utilizing this technique. This is going to be a useful technique for synthesize in a number of natural product, we will see few of them right away. Okay. Some more natural product synthesis by utilizing this anion chemistry, which has already been reported and these are turned out to be quite an efficient method for preparing these fused, you know, um, multi, multi cyclic intermediate, uh, intermediate which is required for uh, a number of natural product synthesis. Let us look at the another Wender synthesis, Wender um, this is Jax 1997. This is once again very, very advanced intermediate we, we will draw from here on. This is a 7 member intermediate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, 7 member intermediate we would like to draw here. And in the process, we what is essential is to have an in ion into the business, right? Into the substrate, we have in and we have the ion. Once again, this is an internal alkyne, and we have the alcohol, uh, a tertiary alcohol protected by TMS, and we you also have uh, OTB DMS protection over there for for this uh, another alcohol um, that is out there for, for the natural product synthesis. Now, we have a 6 member intermediate at, as well where O acetate and methyl is there and then we have a hydrogen up there. From this intermediate, if you have the cyclopentadienyl zirconium, what once again you can put together is this uh, olefin and the alkyne can be incorporated can be stitched together. So, let us let us not draw the remaining part. So, simply we can have zirconium C P 2 intermediate that is incorporated into the substrate to gives rise to we are not drawing the rest of the intermediate. So, rest of the intermediate can be. So, this from this part and this part that can go on and finally, if we are taking acetic acid H O A C acetic acid into the, into the picture what we overall get is the is is uh, is the formation of a methyl and a terminal or internal olefin in this case to gives the uh, advanced intermediate for for a natural product synthesis as well well this is very powerful technique as you can see that chemistry is very simple you have an ion that is one in and one ion, one olefin and one alkyne. You can put them together with cyclopentadiene zirconium intermediate, and finally, depending on the target molecule, you can incorporate either proton or iodo or even carbon monoxide or even other electrophile during the processes for synthesizing the natural product or any complex molecule of interest. We will see few more examples of the similar type, where again once again in and ion are put together to give rise to the desired product formation. Let us look at one more compound, where indeed now we will see that um, olefin and olefin coupling is happening rather than in and ion that is also possible. Let us look at one such example. This is by Mori in JOC 
1992. The substrate that we have in hand is the one where we have a terminal alkyne and um, well two terminal alkyne one is less substituted another is more substituted and another internal alkyne as you see in here. We have this substrate we have terminal olefin, terminal olefin and internal olefin, but this is uh, di substituted this is mono substituted obviously, this is the one which is more reactive and it would be reacting with uh, dicyclopentadiene zirconium intermediate as one would expect subsequently we will get the cyclize intermediate from there on uh, we can have this zirco zirconium CP2 cyclide cyclopropane type of intermediate other things are uh, remaining intact without any problem and from there on what we, we do get is the attack of or in you know, a participation of this olefin with this cyclopropene ring overall to give a very interesting intermediate that would lead, lead to dendrobine synthesis. Let us look at this natural product synthesis where a fused 6 membered ring with the 5 membered ring now with NBN and uh, of course, um, then we can have a methyl group on top. Overall, we, we do have the hydrogen on top in this case and in, in the process we have zirconium incorporated and C P 2 ring all, all also in there. So, 2 zirconium uh, sorry um, 2 cyclopentadiene ring with zirconium this is a 5 member ring another 5 member ring and a 6 member ring appended with a, a di substituted olefin is produced. Overall over here in place of zirconium we can introduce the carbon monoxide in there to synthesize the dendrobine which is a very interesting natural product, but can be put together very easily by utilizing this you know cyclization technique by uh, which is reported by Mori in 1992. Overall the final compound will look like from this um, from this um, oxidative cyclization reaction we can get then uh, in benzyl intermediate along with the uh, with the all the decoration that is required for this product formation. We have keto we uh, that is coming from here we have CP2 zirconium intermediate that will give rise to this product formation very efficiently by utilizing this oxidative cyclization technique. Well, that is once again is a very powerful technique as you have seen here we have instead of an in and ion we have two in one is terminal olefin mono substituted another is internal one of course, that is the one which is very close to the terminal one that can participate into the cyclization reaction. The other one other olefin that we are having the di substituted one although this is terminal, but it is not it is placed in a in a far away place which cannot be really participating that easily for the cyclization reaction. Overall then we have an intermediate where quickly diff you know fused 6 5 5 ring formation is possible to give rise to the one of the very beautiful natural product simple and very beautiful natural product. Well, let us look at some more example of this type of oxidative cyclization reaction that is required for these uh, various product formations processes. Well, we will now look at the you know pentalenic acid synthesis by utilizing this enine chemistry. This is a very powerful technique again it is reported by Nigisi in Jax 1991. What we see here is now once again back to the enine chemistry we have a protected alkyne and a protected alcohol because otherwise it will not be tolerated. Overall what we see an enine chemistry which will give rise to the simple intermediate with R O R alkyl alcohol protected and methyl dimethyl 1 and the hydrogen should be over here. Overall we have a double bond and 
CO generated from this process. So, of course, we are using the CP2. So, we are using CP2 zirconium intermediate from CP2 zirconium dichloride and along with N-butyl lithium. Along with this, we are utilizing carbon monoxide to give rise to this intermediate, which can then uh, further converted to pentalenic acid by using the um, further transformations. So, once again we have seen various natural product synthesis by utilizing this technique which is very interesting and um, what in the next class we might will be then discussing is uh, the beta abstraction, how the beta abstraction will give rise to this alkyne intermediate from which, um, from which we can do once again this beautiful chemistry that in ion type of chemistry that one might will be interested in doing. There remains a number of limitation of this in ion chemistry as we were discussing for this type of uh, you know reactive intermediate formation. This is where beta abstraction by uh, by uh, by this um, other method to prepare cyclopentadiene zir zirconium can be very useful that we will we'll be seeing in the next class. In today's class we have seen then in ion chemistry where both um, the double bond and alkyne is participating into the reaction beautifully. In fact, in one case we have seen two olefin are even participating together, but in all these cases we can synthesize a number of natural products which are very complicated looking fused rings. It could be 676 six or 655 five or different variety of other variation of, of, of these. Um, fused rings that can be synthesized by utilizing this cyclopentadienyl zirconium chemistry. For cyclopentadienyl zirconium synthesis, we have started with dicyclopentadienyl zirconium dichloride intermediate and reacted with, with the, um, the organolithium reagent in Bewley, um, which then gives rise to the dialkyl zirconium dicyclopentadiene species from where a beta hydride elimination is unlikely and therefore, beta abstraction goes on to give you the alkane that is um, cyclo uh, that is butane and, and the remaining part can give you the cyclopropane metal intermediate which can then gives rise to the or you know get rid of the olefin to give, uh, give the cyclopentadiene zirconium product. Now, this cyclopentadiene zirconium is almost can be thought as a free cyclopentadiene zirconium species which is free to react with um, inine formation or to give to specifically reacting first with alkyne which is more uh, reactive towards this zirconium and then those in, uh, cyclopropene intermediate can usually react with olefin to give the desired product. In the next class, we will discuss more of this oxidative cyclization technique and also we will be discussing 2 plus 2 cyclo uh, trimerization reaction along with the poisson con reaction and uh, till then if please keep studying these uh, methods which are very powerful for synthesizing very complicated molecule which is otherwise might will not be possible by any other technique that very easily. All right. Till then, bye bye.